All right, ladies and gents, we're back. Picking up right where we left off, moving on to the next mission. And let's see, the next mission is going to be... Oh, you got this one, which stands for Solomon. Oh, okay, so we can actually continue with um, with those. Hmm, what are we going to do? You know, we're just going to go ahead and do the Lester one. Hopefully this doesn't mean we lose any chances or anything, because the story is just really kind of taken off from me, and who knows where it's going to go from now on, so... Maybe we can get some of that money back. I like how it uh, pops. Does that right there? It's pretty cool. All right, almost here. Looks like we're at our old meeting ground. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. I can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Yeah, thank but... God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief! So? So, there's some, uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Wow, they left pretty Take us to the early. bureau. Parking garage entrance. All right, go to the FIB building. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, no, no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? 
Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. We found a guy about to clock off. Uh, got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. You should be coming out here soon. Wait for the janitor's car. You either get busy waiting, or you get busy dying. Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. <laughs> These are not the George. So what do for. you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Here we go. That's it? That's not it. Some bitch. So what do we do? Uh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Show me the money! Here we go. Ooh, what's this? Uh, another guy. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Here we go. Fourth time's charm. Here we go. Nope. Son of a bitch. I wonder if it's all random or not. That's the one. You know the drill. A couple of car lengths. All right, I'm going to follow him in this mode. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Hmm, huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. Whenever they decided to go with the triggers is the acceleration, that was the smartest move ever. Because you can always choose how fast or slow you want to go. I just actually wish that the Grand Theft Auto would incorporate um, an actual speedometer. Because I'd like to know how fast I'm going. Like Mafia, you know. And then I could set it to where I don't go over a certain miles per hour, you know, in the city or something to keep the cops down, you know. I love the way Mafia did, handled that. I thought that was really good. Just call me when you're ready. If we stay behind this car, then we should be fine. This might be the only video where we don't break the law. Probably not. As we're probably about ready to break the law bigger than anything. Hey. 
not trying to get too close. I don't want to get myself away. Oh, I like how- oh, I didn't even know you could do that. You can actually switch which view. There's three, like, um, tire views, I guess. He's pulling up. Park down the block. that cable connection coming along. Oh, really? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Jesus. I thought we were supposed to get right up on him, but I guess not yet. Another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. I'll fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Yeah. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Wow, that was too easy. Successful? Oh yeah. Take me back to the factory. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? Oh! The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Let's go over here to line five. Please, speak some sense. Hi, you're on the air. Hi, Mrs. Murray. Big fan. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She, 
I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. All right. Cleaning out the bureau. Oh. All right, so again, that wasn't a long mission. And we've got a couple missions that we can do. We've got uh, a Michael and an S mission, it looks like. I think we're going to go and move on to the S mission now. There's still lots of missions to do, I guess, before we hit up this end here. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for staying tuned to Sinistrano 1's gaming channel. Hopefully you're liking it. Don't forget to like the videos, as it does help out the channel a lot. And we will see you next time. Peace out. Bitches!